Hello guys and today we are going to try and do a task that is not going to be easy. We are going to try and rank every single Taylor Swift song there has ever been. I'm talking every single 11 albums, including some of the EPs that she's had, the Christmas album. We're going to be including any of the collabs that she's had, and I really hope we have included every single song. I hope that I haven't missed any. If I have, let me know down below in the comments. There is so many songs to get through, so we're just gonna get straight on in with it. So, just for reference, there is over 250 songs in this tier list. It's going to take us a long time, but we're gonna go through each of them, hopefully in chronological order, and we're just gonna rank them. Now, I should say off the bat at first, I love Taylor Swift. I'm a massive Swifty. I've been to the Eras tour. Uh, she is my favorite artist. I listen to her more than I would probably like to admit. And so, I love every single song there is. So even if there is a song on the bottom tier, it does not mean that I don't like it, because I love all of them. It's just going to be ranking them compared to each other. And for reference, if they are going to make it in the top tier, they need to be extremely good, better than everything else, because I just love them. So whichever tier they end up in, they're all great songs. Speaking of the tiers, let's look at the tiers that we have. In the S tier, it is the number 13, obviously Taylor Swift's lucky number, so these are the best of the best songs. Next we've got It's Been A Long Time Coming, which for me suggests these songs should have been in the Eras Tour. No matter how many ends up in that column, they should all have been in the Eras Tour. Next we've got the Easter Eggs. These are middle ground songs, but are also ones more for the fans. So maybe uh, everyday people might not necessarily love them, but yeah, they're middle tier, so we're gonna put them there. In fourth place, we've got the Me tier list. Now I actually love the song Me, and I think Me will be higher than that, but I thought, what's a lower down scale? And most people can't stand the song me so that's going to be our fourth uh, tier and then finally we have in our last place cats not taylor swift cats cats the musical i think even taylor swift will admit that that musical was awful and so if any songs end up there they're just songs that i like them all but I'm not going to be the biggest fan of them. I probably won't play them that much. So with that all out of the way, I will say that I'm gonna try and not repeat any songs. So if songs have remixes or other versions or um, acoustic versions or stuff like that, it's only going to be looking at the solo one song. And of course, you've got all of the Taylor's versions in here. Some, only one song that I can think of might be affected by its original version, but I will be ranking the Taylor's version songs in this tier list. And if you wanna join along at home, there'll be a link down below in the description. Right. Let's get into this. This is going to take us forever. Over 250 songs. Let's start with debut. Tim McGraw. It's all right. I'm going to put it Easter eggs. Picture to burn. Not a big fan of it. Me. Teardrops on my guitar. Brilliant. It's been a long time coming. Should have been in the Eras tour. A place in this world. I actually really like this song, but I'm going to put it in middle tier because there are so many better ones. Um, Cold as you are first track five. That's me level. Mary's song oh my my my. I mean, that's just brilliant, isn't it? It's been a long time coming. The outside. Lots of people don't really like this one. I actually love it. Easter eggs column. Tied together with a smile. That's one of my favorite debut songs. So that's going to go in. It's been a long time I'm coming. Stay beautiful. I actually think this is a really lovely song, so I'm gonna put it in the middle tier. Should have said no. I used to really like the song, but I think I overplayed it, and to be honest, I'm really not a big fan of it now. So do I put our first one in Cats the Musical? Mm, I don't know, because it's not horrendous. So I'm gonna put it in the me column. Our song, everyone loves this one, and I get it's because it's the first single, it's amazing, but I'm not a big fan, so I'm gonna put it in the me column. Sorry, you can feel free to disagree with me. Um, I'm only me when I'm with you, love that song, but um, I'm probably gonna put it in middle tier. Invisible, it's just quite boring. Like, I like the song, but if I was going to skip any on this album, it would probably be Invisible. So, should I put it in Cast the Musical? No, I'll put it at the end of me. I think Cats has got to be, like, really bad. Um, and A Perfectly Good Heart, that's quite a nice song. But I'll put it in uh, probably middle tier. Next, we've got the Beautiful Eyes EP, which probably will end up being vault tracks on Taylor Swift, Taylor's version. Uh, there were only two original songs in this. We have Beautiful Eyes, which is fine, but I don't really listen to it. And we have I Heart, which is meant to be another big country bopping song, kind of like Pitch to Burn, uh, so not really a huge fan of it. Next, we've got Taylor Swift's Christmas album. Now, I know, obviously, uh, we're in the middle of summer. We probably shouldn't be listening to Christmas songs, but I'm going to be ranking the Christmas songs based on how much I like to play them at Christmas. Um, and these are Taylor Swift's uh, original songs on her Christmas album. Christmas is When You Were Mine. It's an alright song. I wouldn't say it's anything incredible, so I'm going to put it in the me column. And Christmases must be something more. I actually really like the song and I really like the message in it, so I'm going to put it in the Easter eggs column. 
Currently, debut, very much a mixed bag, and nothing too high, nothing too low, which pretty much sums up the album for me. Next, we've got Crazier from the Hannah Montana movie. I really hope this is a vault track, considering she played at the Eras tour. I actually really love this song. I think it's gonna have to go, and it's been a long time coming, and was played at the Eras tour, so it's good. Fearless, that is an iconic song. It's gotta be in It's Been a Long Time Coming. 15, I quite like it when I was 15. I actually really loved it, so I'm gonna put it in Easter Eggs. Love Story, that is iconic. Is it good enough to go in 13? Here's the thing. I think it's an incredible song, but the, to make it into this very, very top tier, you've got to be one of my absolute favourite ones. So I'm going to put it in, it's been a long time coming. Hey Steven, I do not like this song. The only Taylor Swift song that I say I really do not like is this song. I'm sorry, it's going to have to go in the bottom tier. Feel free to disagree with me, everyone disagrees with me with that, but I'm not a fan. White Horse, brilliant track 5, Sabrina Carpenter's favourite song, um, Easter Eggs. You Belong With Me. It should go up here, shouldn't it? It really should. Um, oh, I do not know. Oh, stuff it, it's gonna go in 13. Breathe, love that song, but I think it's just gonna go in middle tier. Tell me why, probably me tier. You're not sorry, that is a good song. Mm, middle tier. The way I loved you, that's gotta go and it's been a long time coming. Forever and always, this song actually really annoys me. Every time it comes on Fearless, it's the one song that I skip past, and then it appears again with the piano version. Obviously, we're rating both um, in terms of this one song here for this tier list. I'm oh, I'm gonna have to put it in Cats the Musical. I'm sorry. Like sometimes I listen to it, but that's only when I'm really wanting to listen to the full album. Most of the time, I'll skip it. The best day. Don't really have any connection to it, so it's gonna go in the me column. Change. Decent song, um, but is it as good? It's probably like, if, if I could have a halfway tier, it'd go in between. I'll put it in the me column. Jump then fall, that is a great song. Oh, stuff it, it's gonna have to go in 13. I know everyone doesn't like that song, I don't understand why. It is an amazing song, so it's gonna go there. Untouchable, again, very underrated. It's gonna go in, it's been a long time coming. Uh, Come in with the rain, all right, that'll go in Easter eggs. Superstar, this song that's hated on, everyone loves to put it in, in the bottom tier. Uh, I actually really love it. I'm gonna put it in. It's been a long time coming because I think it's such a good song. The other side of the door. That's going in 13. That's a brilliant song. Today was a fairy tale. That's an alright song. I'm gonna put that in. Easter eggs. You all over me. I actually really love that song. So I'm gonna put that in. It's been a long time coming. Mr. Perfectly Fine. Great vault track. That will go in. It's been a long time coming. We were happy. Loads of people do not like this vault track. I think it's great. So I'm gonna put it in. Uh, the It's been a long time coming. That's when. All right, Easter eggs. Don't you, not a big fan, me. Bye bye baby, again, not a big fan. Uh, if this was a movie, it's all right. I'll put it in Easter eggs. Um, here we go, we've got our first collab outside of uh, Taylor Swift's main discography, apart from, you know, Hannah Montana movie, but this time she is collabing. And it's two is better than one with uh, boys like girls. It's all right, um, I'll put it in the me column. Don't always go back to it, but it's a decent song. Mine, that can go in Easter eggs. Sparks Fly, that's gotta be, it's been a long time coming. That should have been in the era's tour, let's be realistic. Back to December, everyone loves the song. I think it's all right, I'm gonna put it in the me column. Speak Now, again, all right. Dear John, I never used to listen to the song. When Taylor's version came out, I really thought, Everyone talks about how great this track 5 is, so I had a listen, and I actually really like it, but not enough to put it in, it's been a long time coming. Mean, alright. Uh, the Story of Us, ah, that's quite a bad song. Uh, Cats the Musical, sorry. Never Grow Up, again, sorry. Loads of people are gonna hate me for that, but I'm just not a fan. Enchanted, I mean, come on, that's the best song ever. <laughs> Better than Revenge, everyone loves this song, don't understand why. Um, me column. Innocent, loads of people hate this song, and it's such a good song, that's gonna go in the S tier. Uh, Haunted, all right, everyone again loves it, I'm gonna put it in me, oh wow. First column to go bigger is the uh, fourth column, that's quite bad, uh, but we are on Taylor Swift's earliest stuff, but I still think all these great. Last Kiss, probably me. Again, this column is because they're like, they're average, but they're great but they're average. Long Live, that's obviously a great song, so that's gonna go in, it's been a long time coming. Ours, I actually really love ours. Is it good enough to go in 13? I mean, loads of people disagree with me, but stuff it, I think it's great. Uh, Superman, that's 
decent enough Easter eggs. Electric Touch, I really loved this song when it came out from the vault, uh, but I haven't really listened to it since, so I'm gonna put it in Easter eggs. Uh, when Emma Falls in Love, it's an alright track, so I'll put it in me. I Can See You, embarrassingly this was my most played song in 2023, which I do not like to admit, so I'm gonna have to put it in 13. Castle's Crumbling, not a big fan. Foolish One, not a big fan. Timeless, it's, it's good. Uh, okay, let's move on to Red. State of Grace, acoustic and normal version. They're fine. Let's put them in me. Red, that's going to go here. Treacherous, again, great song. I Knew You Were Trouble. It's iconic. It's going to have to go and it's been a long time coming. All Too Well original version. Wasn't the biggest fan, but I appreciated it. So, Easter eggs. 22. Um, that has got to be in. It's been a long time coming. It's a great song. I Almost Do. Mm, not the biggest fan. Uh, we Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Bit overplayed, but we'll put it in Easter eggs. Stay, stay, stay. I love this song, and I think it coming after We Are Ever Never Get Back Together is hilarious. So that's going to go in. It's been a long time coming. The last time, everyone does not seem to love this song. It is one of Taylor Swift's best songs. It's going to go in the 13 column. Love it. Holy Ground, it's all right. Easter egg, sad, beautiful, tragic. Uh, don't listen to it that much. Lucky One, again, don't listen to it that much. Everything has changed. This is the song where I said the original version might tamper the uh, ranking because Everything Has Changed original version is one of my all-time favorite Taylor Swift songs. Taylor's version is just, there's something off about it. it does, it's the only Taylor's version where I think that is not as good as the original and it's really annoying because it's one of my favorite songs. But if we're gonna also count in the original, I'm gonna have to put it at uh, 13. Starlight, don't really listen to that one. Begin Again, it's overplayed. Uh, the Moment I Knew, mm, let's put it in me. Come Back, Be Here, that's pretty good. Girl at Home, uh, the new version's a bit weird, uh, but I still like it, so I'll put that there. Ronan, now I know a lot of people don't like to rate this one because of the reason why the song was created, and I do get that. I am just taking all of the discography just as a discography. I'm not really thinking about the context, I'm just looking at it as a song, and I think it's a good song. So I'll put it at Easter Eggs and I'll just say that. Better Man, this is one of the best vault tracks ever. Now we're in the red vault, these are some of the best songs. Uh, 13, definitely. Nothing New, that's pretty good, that can go in Easter Eggs. Babe, used to hate the song before it was a vault track. Since it became a vault track, I actually really love it, so it's gonna go in the A tier. Uh, I Bet You Think About Me, again, it's been a long time coming, should have been on the Eras tour. Forever Winter, that's pretty good. Run, um, I know people do not like Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift collabs, I think they're great. Uh, message in a bottle, that's again, it's been a long time coming. The very first night, that could even be 13 tier. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it there. And all too well, 10 minute version, 13 tier. It's it's just brilliant, like, it's incredible. Eyes open, that's decent, and safe and sound, that's all right. Taylor Swift's first four albums are all in there, and it's pretty mixed at this current moment in time. Red has the most on the 13 level, however, it also has a lot down below here, but so does Fearless, and so does Speak Now, so interesting. Next we've got Both of Us, a collab with B.O.B. I actually really like the song, but I'm gonna put it in the Easter eggs. Highway Don't Care with Tim McGraw, of all places. Is it gonna go where Tim McGraw was uh, placed? Yes, it will. It's a decent song. Finally, we're on to 1989 Taylor's version. This is gonna be interesting because this is loads of people's favorite album. It was the Taylor's version that I was least excited for. I think because all of these songs are overplayed for good reasons, but I'm just not the biggest fan of them all. So welcome to New York, mid, blank space, that can go in, it's been a long time coming. Style, that's the best song probably of this album. Out of the Woods, I'm not a big fan. Me, all you have to do is stay, mid, again, shake it off. Great song, appreciate it, but we'll go mid. I wish you would, I've lost out of touch with that song, I overplayed it. Bad Blood, mid. Wildest Dreams, mid. Uh, How You Get The Girl, mid. I keep saying mid like it's a bad thing. Bear in mind, this is mid of Taylor Swift we're talking about, so all of these are higher than any other songs ever, but they're mid for Taylor Swift. Uh, this Love, put that there. I Know Places. I saw this one on the Eras tour, and it was my favorite song from 1989 before that, so gonna have to put it in, it's been a long time coming. Clean, that's another banger, we'll put that in, it's been a long time coming. Wonderland, not a big fan. Uh, you Are In Love, 
Again, not a huge fan. New Romantics, that can go and it's been a long time coming. Slut, it's the vault track that I've probably listened to the least out of any uh, Taylor's version album. Do I put it in Cast the Musical? Like, I appreciate what it is, but I'm just not the biggest fan. So, yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Don't listen to it. Say Don't Go, that is an amazing song. Best vault track. Now That We Don't Talk, uh, me, Column. Suburban Legends, me. Is It Over Now? It's been a long time coming. Um, Sweeter Than Fiction, I really hope we have the Taylor's version because it's a great song, so it's gonna be in It's A Long Time Coming. Next we've got I Don't Wanna Live Forever, arguably one of Taylor Swift's most successful songs ever, and I'm gonna put it in the middle tier. Next we've got Reputation and followed by Lover, these are my two favourite albums, I love these ones, so let's see what we've got. Ready For It, that can go in, it's been a long time coming. Endgame, again, loads of people dislike Ed Sheeran on it, I think Ed Sheeran and Future are great in it. Uh, I Did Something Bad, that's brilliant. Don't Blame Me, oh, is it enough to get on 13? Oh, it's gonna have to be. Delicate, that's my favourite Taylor Swift song, best song ever, so that is um, top, of, top of the chart. Definitely. Uh, look what you made me do. That can be in it's been a long time coming. So it goes. So many people hate the song. Don't understand why. It's going to go in the A tier. Gorgeous. That's probably the worst song on Reputation. Um, but it's still great. Getaway Car. That's got to go in it's been a long time coming. King of My Heart. Again, these are all just going to go in the A tier. Dancing with Our Hands Tied. That can go in Easter Eggs. Dress. That can also go in Easter Eggs. Um, this is why we can't have nice things. That can go there. Call it what you want. That can go in the A tier. And New Year's Day, I'm actually not the big of a fan of. That can go me. Reputation, I think, had the strongest uh, lot, considering how many tracks it has compared to something like Red. Um, I think it probably has the strongest out of all of them. Uh, next, we've got Lover. I forgot that you existed. I'm not like most people who forget this song exists. I actually really like this song, so I'm going to put it in Easter Eggs. Cruel Summer, I mean, it's iconic. Lover, that can go in the 13th tier. That is just a brilliant song. Uh, the Man... Probably shouldn't comment on this one. I'll put it in Easter eggs just to be safe. The Archer, um, I actually really love. So it's going to go in the A tier. Um, I think he knows that I'm not the biggest fan of. It's the one song on Lover that kind of lets me down. So I'll put it in me. Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. I mean, it's got to go in. It's been a long time coming. Uh, Paper Rings. That's all right in Easter eggs. Uh, Cornelia Street, again, pretty decent one. Death by a Thousand Cuts. So many people love this song. Taylor Swift loved this song. I just don't think it's that good compared to her other songs. So I'm going to put it in the me column. False God, I'm not the biggest fan of for uh, several reasons. So I'll put that in Cats the Musical. London Boy, uh, that's pretty fun. Put that in Easter eggs. Soon you'll get better. Again, similar thing with Ronin. I'm not taking into the context. I'm just taking into the uh, music itself. And it's a nice song. So I'll put it in the Easter eggs. You Need to Calm Down. It has a clear message, it's a fun song, so I'll put it in the Easter eggs. After Go, that's a great song. Uh, me, now I said it would be funny if we put me in the me column. I actually think me is a great song. So I'm gonna put it in, it's been a long time coming. I really like that song. Um, it's nice to have a friend. It's decent, it gets overhated for some reason. Daylight, I saw this song at the Eras tour and it's got to go in the 13 column. It is one of the best songs of the album, it's brilliant. And all of the girls you loved before released not as a vault track for some reason. It should have been a vault track. Um, I'd put that in. It's been a long time coming. It's a great song. Beautiful Ghost from Cats the Musical. I'm not actually going to put it in Cats the Musical because I think this is one of the only positives of that musical or of the movie version of the musical. I'll put that in Easter eggs. Uh, Christmas Tree Farm. Do you know what? As a Christmas song, I actually really love it. And I, should I put it in 13? Because like for the occasion at Christmas, that is the song that I overplay the most. So I'm going to put it there. I think it's a great song. Only the Young, um, I fell in love with the song when Miss Americana came out, so it's going to have to go in uh, the 13 slot. Um, on to Folklore now, arguably one of her best albums ever. The One, that's a pretty good song, I'll put it in Easter eggs. Cardigan, that is one of the best songs she's ever made, that's going to go in the 13 column. The Last Great American Dynasty, maybe it's because I'm not American, I don't connect to it as much. Um, sometimes I skip that one, so that'll go in me. Exile, I've grown to love that one, especially playing on the piano. But is it good enough to go here? Oh, I'll put it in. It's been a long time coming. My Tears Ricochet. This is actually one of my least favourite track fives. 
but it's still amazing. So I'll put it in Easter eggs. Mirror ball, that can go in. It's been a long time coming. Seven. Oh, do I put seven in 13? I might have to. Seven is such a good, a good song. It's amazing. August, I'll put that in. It's been a long time coming. This is me trying. Um, I've grown a new appreciation for this song recently, but I'll put it in Easter eggs. Invisible String, not a huge fan of it, but I appreciate what it's doing. And um, Illicit Affairs, now I actually loved Illicit Affairs before the Eras Tour version of it. The Eras Tour has made it even better, so I'll put it in, it's been a long time coming. Um, Mad Woman, not the biggest fan. Epiphany. I actually love this song and I really connected to it in COVID. It is like a time capsule of that time and I just love it. So I'm going to put it in. It's been a long time coming. It gets too much hate for some reason. Betty, that can go in the A tier. Peace is pretty good. So I'll put that in Easter eggs. Hoax, again, pretty good. And The Lakes, I actually live really close to The Lakes. And when Taylor Swift was making a song about it, I literally uh, was in a state of shock and I loved it so much. And I still listen to it every single day. Uh, it's such a good song. So I'll put that in 13. Next, we're on to Evermore, a very underrated album. Willow, um, whoa, this is hard. There or there, there or there. Mm, I'm gonna put it in Easter eggs. Champagne Problems, everyone loves this song and I understand why, I just think it's a bit overrated. Gonna put it in Easter eggs. Gold Rush, that's a great song. That can go in, it's been a long time coming. Tis the Damn Season, I also had that at my Era Store show. So if you've worked out and counted out how many songs that I've had, you should be able to work it out which show I was at. So that can go in, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Tolerate it. I mean, I'm sad that I never got to see that in the era store. That's such a good uh, song. Nobody, no crime. That can go in Easter eggs. Happiness. Mm, put that in me. Dorothea. Me. I know actually higher. Coney Island. I'll put that in me. Ivy. Nah. Oh, it's Evermore so good. I feel like these are too low for Evermore. Cowboy like me. That can go in there. Long story short. Um. Uh, mm, it feels bad putting them in the middle tier, but the middle tier, like I say, is the middle of Taylor Swift. Like, we're on a whole other tier level. Uh, Marjorie, that can go in S. Closure, not the biggest fan. Evermore, I'll put that in the very top. It's time to go. We were on the bonus tracks of Evermore, and that one's not the best. But right where you left me, that's probably the best song in Evermore. Uh, that's going to go right at number 13. Uh, the Joker and the Queen. I have been saying throughout this video, I love Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift collabs. Did not like uh, it when it's an Ed Sheeran song. The Joker and the Queen, not a great song. Uh, Cats the Musical. Renegade, pretty decent Easter eggs. Birch, not a fan. Uh, Renegade was much better. Gasoline, not a fan, sorry. Uh, we're on to Midnight's now. Lavender Haze, Easter eggs. Maroon, overplayed. Uh, Antihero, that can go and it's been a long time coming. Snow on the Beach, originally it would have been in the Meteor. If we're adding in featuring more Lana, I'm gonna put it in, it's been a long time coming. Uh, You're on your own kid, that's gotta go up here. Midnight Rain, love Midnight Rain. Question, pretty good, I'll go Easter eggs. Vigilante, I'm not gonna say the other word. Um, I'll put that in the me column. Be Jewels, I love that song. Labyrinth, uh, that can go down here. Karma, that's a great song. Sweet Nothing, that's all right. Mastermind, that is one of Taylor Swift's best songs. That's gonna go in the 13 column. The Great War, again, one of Taylor Swift's best songs. Gonna go in 13. Uh, bigger Than The Whole Sky, it's all right. Paris, not a big fan of Paris, actually. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to put it in Castle Musical. I, re I always skip that song, I'm not a fan. High Infidelity, the whoop, whoop. Don't record me doing that. Uh, that is a great song. I'll put that in, it's been a long time coming. Glitch, uh, it's not the best. Would've, could've, should've. I also had that on my Eras Tour show. So I think for that reason, I'm gonna have to put it in 13. So I'm not gonna keep singing. We're just gonna keep talking about the people that need help in front of me. Just let me know when I can do this all night. Okay, you're good? Awesome! Go rest myself! Uh, Dear Reader, that's a good song, but mid. 
hits different. I really liked it, but then when it got to streaming and I began, kept on overplaying it, it got, uh, fell out of touch with it. And You're Losing Me is amazing. It's got to be, it's been a long time coming. Carolina, um, it's all right, Easter eggs. The Alcott, it's all right. Mm, maybe that's too high. Probably down here, actually. Now we're on to the Tortured Poets Department, uh, the original. We've got Fortnite. That is a great song. Tortured Poets Department, again, A tier. My Boy Only Breaks Us Toys. It's one of my least favorite, actually, from this album. I'll put it in me. Down Bad, that's a great song. It's been a long time coming. So Long London, that has got to be at the top. One of the best track fives by far. Uh, but Daddy I Love Him, I've actually really fallen in love with the song so much it's gonna be, it's been a long time coming. Actually Fortnite, I might put higher. I do love that song so much. <laughs> Uh, Fresh Out the Slammer, don't really listen to that one. That can go me. Florida, I actually really like. Um, it's been a long time coming. Guilty as Sin, I loved it when the album first came out. After a few months, um, sort of lost touch with it a bit, but I'll put it in Easter eggs. Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, really like that song. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I Can Fix Him, no really I can. Don't really listen to that one. Loss of My Life, um, it's all right. I Can Do It With a Broken Heart, that can go in. It's been a long time coming. Smallest Man Who Ever Lived, that has got to go in the top tier. That bridge is the best bridge in any Taylor Swift song. The Alchemy, I really like it, uh, Easter eggs. And Clara Bow, I'm gonna put Clara Bow in It's Been A Long Time Coming. Then we've got the anthology of the Tortured Post Department, and I've realized I don't have I Hate It here, which I'm really upset about because I love that song. Uh, that would go in It's Been A Long Time Coming. The one that I've missed off is so good. The Black Dog, that's gotta go in the A tier. I love it. Uh, I'm Gonna Get You Back, it's decent, Easter eggs. Uh, the Albatross, don't listen to it as much. Chloe, Osama, Sophia, or Marcus, Took me a while to get into it, but I like it. So I'll put it in Easter eggs. How did it end? Oh, that's a great song. It is a track five, but I'll put it in Easter eggs. So high school, that can go in the A tier. That's such a good song. Uh, thank you, Amy. I appreciate what that's doing. So that can go in the, it's been a long time coming. I look in people's windows is so underrated. I actually really love it. So that can go in the A tier. Uh, the Prophecy, again, A tier. Cassandra, not a fan. I always skip past this one. Sorry, it's gonna go in Cats the Musical. Peter, I love, it's been a long time coming. The Bolter, I'll put that in Easter eggs, same with Robin. And the Manuscript, mm, I appreciate what it's doing, but it's not really my type of music, so I'll put that in me. And finally, we have Taylor Swift's latest collaboration with Gracie Abrams on her new album, Secret of Us, called Us, and it's amazing. It's gonna have to go in uh, 13. It's one of her best collabs, it's a brilliant song. I think it's amazing. Wow! There we go. I don't know how long that video was. That was over 250 songs that we have ranked. And here is our list. It's an interesting mix, actually. Uh, not what I was expecting, but there you go. What is your guys' list? Do you agree with me or not? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, there is in the description a link to this tier list if you want to do it at home. And as always, we've been here on Gates of Theory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.